Many gamers who play ARMA know firsthand what low FPS is. If you are watching this video, then you are already on the right track. There are a lot of optimization tips on the internet, but to put the picture together, you need to go through dozens of sources. Especially for your convenience, all useful information from these sources, as well as our own knowledge, is collected in this video. Game Settings Many gamers try to optimize the game by simply turning all the settings down. But this method is ineffective. Initially, you need to figure out what indicators affect the FPS in the game. The sample should be about 100%. There is no reason to set it lower for a mid-level install. Textures. By and large, textures do not affect FPS, but graphics depend on them very much, so you need to set a very high level of textures. Object quality. This should be standard to high. Again, this also ensures that there are no pop-ups and objects look visually more appealing. Terrain quality. I recommend leaving this as default and only reverting to it if you feel like you have a lot of free frame rates after doing all the other tweaks. Shadow quality. This is something you should be very careful with. I would either disable this for most mid-low setups or ultra. Other settings look visually bad and also have poor performance. Particle quality. I would set it to ultra. It doesn't affect frame rate very much. Clouds. In this game, the developers paid a lot of attention to clouds and fog, so if you set it to low, in clear weather you will not see clouds, but in rainy weather they will appear. Therefore, it is recommended to set low. Pip. Picture in picture is a stupid setting and should always be turned off. HDR. I like HDR, but it affects performance. Customize it according to what you think is best. Dynamic lighting. Adjust it according to your FPS. Ultra seems like a good option, but it can lower your FPS in multiplayer. Test it and then decide for yourself. Visibility. We set the following settings. General 1500, Objects 1060, Shadow 50. Windows settings. Just copy my settings. All these features cause freezes and lags in games, so disable them. Perfect. Perfect.
NVIDIA Control Panel. Open up the NVIDIA Control Panel and select ARMA 3 in 3D settings. Change Power Management Mode to prefer maximum performance and multi-display mixed GPU acceleration to single display performance. You can also change the maximum pre-rendered frames to 1. Leave everything else as it is. Overclocking. Since not everyone has a overclockable CPU, and not everyone has the same CPU, I can't make step-by-step -step instructions for overclocking. Google your main board and CPU. Try to find some tips and tutorials in the internet and try it by yourself. Set high graphics priority for ARMA 3. Through Windows 10 graphics settings feature, you can change the GPU priority for a particular game. This feature is beneficial and can completely transform your ARMA 3 performance. What we will do is that we'll add ARMA 3 in the graphics settings, changes its priority from normal to high, and save changes. Once done, your graphics card will always operate at full speeds crossing all limits. As a result, you will get more FPS and a tremendous performance increase while playing ARMA 3. Open Start, Search Graphics Settings. Now click on Browse, Locate and add ARMA 3, set its graphics preference to high performance. Other Improvements. Now to the last part of this video. We only worked with configs and CPU GPU based improvements so far. But you can also improve your performance by installing ARMA 3 on a SSD instead of a HDD. Keeping your drivers up to date. Don't overmod your game. Keeping your system partition clean. Disabling your virus scanner while playing. All those small things can all together increase FPS and reduce stuttering and long loading times. Installing your game on a SSD reduces loading times, stuttering from moving faster zooming. Also you want to avoid playing on servers with very high player counts. Since ARMA 3's player models are very polygon rich and detailed, many players can cause your FPS to drop. Every player has high detailed weapons, clothing, backpacks and probably other stuff on them. Even tough everything has lots, it all sums up. Well, that's all for me, I hope I helped you. If yes, then I ask you to subscribe to the channel and like this video. This inspires me to create new videos for you. See you soon, friends.